Hi guys! Hey! It's been a minute. Like, the longest minute that you ever know. That's the longest minute I've given this channel. But we all know that I'm the queen of taking a little break. So, obviously, I am back making videos. My goal was definitely to start off the new year with, like, fully coming back to making content and then also being super consistent. But my life is a movie. Is it a great one? Sometimes. I love my life. This little life. This little life. She's so interesting. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I had a crazy December and I just wanted to do so much. But like everything kept coming back to me like oh. I figured I'd come back, sit down with you guys, do a little talky talk, you know. And then in my next couple videos, we'll get back into the groove of things and then we'll sit down and we'll just talk about life eventually but today i wanted to sit down and talk to you guys december was hard and january was definitely like my reset we're trying to like love life again it was quite a way to end the year to say the least so let's get into what i love i have little like beauty stuff that i love music it won't be too long but i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of everything so let's get into it so starting off super simple a planner i really missed having a physical planner and this was the year where i brought it back my god life with just my digital planner was great but sometimes you need to write it down and so basically i have my planner now and i love her i got her from target so i got this planner she's super simple i love some prints but sometimes they're just not for me so what i love about it is it literally just has a really great way to lay out your month and then also to lay out your days with a to-do list because your girl needs a to-do list to survive literally it is part of my being my notes app to-do lists i start off with like what all i need to do i separate it by date so i do this on here too and i think it really helps with my brain of just having it in here and here and everywhere because then it's like it's gonna get done and also it just like really keeps me on track so i really love having this planner and the fact that it also has like little weekly tips it came with stickers and then at the end of the month it also has a monthly reflection where it talks about like your personal wins what you've learned from the month goals that you met what you want to work on and i think that's really nice because sometimes like i really love to journal but this month was not a journaling month on paper it's all in my notes and this helps me to like kind of just do a quick write down and just spill out what I'm really like thankful for and what really worked during the month so I can stay positive. But yeah, I carry this thing everywhere. As I said, I carry my planner everywhere. And how can I carry that huge planner? I would not be able to do that without my bag of nylon shoulder bag that I love so much. Oh my God, guys. The love that I have for this damn bag is insane. I will talk about it nonstop with people. People are like, oh my God, that bag's so nice. Boom, 20 minute conversation about how much I love this bag and it's my lifeline. So Francis got this for me for Christmas and <laughs> thank you so much, baby. I love it. What? What? At the end of the year, I just started carrying everything with me and I really needed a bag to support me through it because I had my usual work bag and she was great. I loved the shape, but I wish that I had something just a little bit better. And I wanted the Bagu shoulder bag for a minute and I just held off on it because it wasn't something that I absolutely had to have. It was really just a want and I was fine doing with what I had. But when I got this, life changed. Like I said, my planner fits in here. I'll just show it to you guys this way. That fits in this way. When I put it in the other way, it fits in like a glove. It's just so cute and it really is so practical. It's one of the best bags that I've ever had. And I really recommend it for you if you're a working woman, a woman, a working person, any person. Bagu is not sponsoring me. I'm literally just me. I'm Jasmine, Jasmine Coleman, and I love this bag. And right now I have my little Sunny on her. If you guys want a what's in my bag, let me know because I would be happy to. I do one almost every day, so. You know what's a really easy thing for me to talk about? What I'm wearing. That bag, one thing. Another thing, my dress. My bestie Sam said, there are these cute dresses at Target. It's like a little skims moment. It's a buttery soft maxi dress. Do you know what that did to me? Do I care to get like a skims dress? No. <laughs> Do I love a maxi dress? Absolutely. Okay, okay. You can hear my bones popping, but okay. This dress is literally so soft, it's so comfortable, and it's just the most cutest thing in the world, and so simple. I literally wear these once a week, because if I'm not wearing this one, I wear the other color. And this color, and I couldn't decide, so I had gotten both, and I was like, I'm gonna return one. How did I get it in both colors? And I was hesitant at first, but good gosh, 
This color is so pretty. Sometimes I just really don't want to put an outfit together, but when you put on a maxi dress and you just zhuzh it up with something else, it is so easy. The next thing that I want to get into is beauty. Beauty products are a part of me literally every day. You know, we're always doing something. When I do think of most of the things that I'm showing you guys today, they are gifts. But what does that say about my loved ones? They love me. They know me because I literally loved all my gifts. So the first thing is the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm. My friend Maria got this for me for Christmas. I use it at least once a day. It is the perfect thing to moisturize my lips and it's in peach. I love peach. You know who hates peach? My boyfriend. Will he still kiss me with it? Hell yeah. It looks so nice all the time. And I love the fact that the scent isn't that overbearing. I'm really sensitive to smell. Even though I love a good smell and I love peach, if it was like a really strong peach scent, I'd probably get a headache or probably sneeze all the time and it would just be so annoying to use. The next thing are these glitters. So, quick story. It was the annual Flu Crew Secret Santa gift exchange and Things went wrong this year, but the problem was that this year, when we were buying for each other, the wish list was not taking the items off that were already purchased. So some people, Kayla and Amber, got more than one of the same thing. Kayla got the same thing three times. What did she get three times? These glitters. And Jessica was her gift giver, and she was like, I can just buy you something else. And we're like, cool. But then I was like, dang. I want those eye glitters. And Jessica being the great friend that she is, she bought Kayla a new gift and she still gave me these because she's the best girl in the world. So now I have eye glitters that I literally love so much. They're from the brand, I believe, Sweet Mint and they are so easy to use. I'm literally wearing them right now. If you can see, when you're feeling very lazy and you just wanna plop on something fast because that is what I do every time I do my makeup because if I already did the rest of the face afterwards, I'm like, eyeshadow? No. It has this really simple applicator and I just plop it onto the middle of my lid. I've gotten so many compliments because people are like, that glitter is so pretty, where'd you get it? And I tell them the story every time. Who am I to not talk about skincare? If you guys are unaware, I work for a small Korean owned business and we sell Korean skincare. I've literally been working for this company for almost three years and ever since I have only used Korean products for my skin and it changed my life. Korean skincare is just really clean, simple, and effective. Ever since I've been using it, which is almost for three years, I have been doing so much better with my skin. It is a lot easier for me to control. I picked up these two things and they've really been helping my skin and I hope that it continues to thrive. So the first one is the Aqua Bomb Toner from Believe. It's just a watery toner that just really brings in such good moisture. It absorbs really nicely. It feels so nice on the skin. It doesn't have a crazy scent. It just smells very clean. Obviously, when I'm using this for like over a month, I will give the better review, but right now, it's doing its thing. Let's get into this moisturizer. I love this brand. Iliun is literally one of my favorite Korean brands. Their products just do such a great job for anybody with any type of skin, but specifically if you have any skin condition or sensitive skin, it just does so much. The moisturizer that I love so much is the Ceramide Auto Cream, like intensive cream from Iliun. I really love that one, but we hadn't gotten it back in our store. This one is the Ceramide Auto Lotion, which just means it's a lighter formula. The moment I put this on my skin, I was gagged because what? I was glowing, girl. This is my new go-to. So right now I've been just using these products together and it's been a hit. So hopefully, by the end of next month, I can really tell you guys how it's doing and give you an update and probably make it my favorites every month. So I haven't showed you guys what I love to smell like. This is what I smell like now. So for years, I had been religiously using Gucci Bamboo. It is such a lovely smell, but I thought I'd switch things up and try something new. So, so for Christmas, I asked for Billie Eilish's perfume because I smelled it just for a second and I think it's such a me smell. It's like, look at her. The bottle itself is literally gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not really a big fan of like really sweet, really like in your nose smells. I like something that's a little sultry and it just adds to the vibe. It's just so light and I feel like it's just like kind of spicy. So now you guys know what I smell like. So when it came to this year, I was really going to get on my ass and make sure that I am reading. I started off last year really, really strong because literally between January and August, I was reading. The last three months, mm -mm. 
Not a thought in that head was coming from a book. One of my biggest goals this year is to make sure that I'm reading at least two books a year and I really want to try to read as much as I possibly can. I read two books. So these are the two books that I decided to read this month and they're two memoirs that I really thought would help me to kick off the reading because to me sometimes a memoir is just really easy to follow. So the first book that I read this year was Emily Ratajkowski's My Body. So this is a book that's really been talked about for the last like year especially in my life and I've been really wanting to read it and I finally got into it and I thought it was really good. One part that was really hard for me is because like I got the book and then right after she made that really weird post on Instagram. If y'all know what I'm talking about with like the jeans. But when I took everything apart and I just read the book for what it was and just thought about the story that she was conveying and talking about her life and just being a woman, body image, autonomy, everything like that, it was really insightful and it just really was easy to read. It also just really makes you think about men. Like, wow men really do things and it's just really great the other book that i read was what my bones know by stephanie fu and i really enjoyed this book but i felt like the story was really easy to relate to it really just discusses and unpacks the complexities of having to deal with mental health and also with any type of trauma and the back and forth that you go through without your entire life because i feel like in some books and also in just in general when people talk about their mental health experience or dealing with trauma they just look at it as it's literally just one parallel line and you're just like going y'all are just like moving it makes it feel like it's a lot better for you to struggle and going back and forth with your growth with trauma and i think just in general just her unpacking that throughout every chapter was just amazing and i loved it so lastly we're going to talk about what i listened to primarily through the end of 2023 i was not listening to music that much i just really used to not understand how people could just sit in a car and listen to a podcast in december of last year i also became a podcast listener honestly coming from work and then doing all the stuff that i was dealing with i just really didn't want to be bumping a song i was like just chill but i didn't like the silence so i was like what can i listen to and i reverted back to a podcast that I've always loved and it's just a YouTube channel that I've been listening to for a while but I got really into it at the end of the year and I still haven't gotten out of it. I love listening to Rotten Mango's podcast. Stephanie, you are my bestie and my eyes were family and I have been with you through every journey. Rotten Mango is a podcast that it talks about true crime and I know what you're thinking, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Some true crime fans, if you call it, I think it's sometimes such a weird community because some people really get really weird with it and it just is not it doesn't sit right with you and that's a lot of it i do think that it's a very interesting like topic and to like get into all this stuff i've always been interested in some of the cases and like shows that talk about that kind of stuff but i do understand how people get like weirded out and i've also been weirded out by a lot of like content creators who cover true crime but i love their podcast because it really just goes in depth with every case that they cover i have literally cried so many times watching i've gotten so angry watching because stephanie her husband and their entire team get together and just do a really great job at covering the cases because it really humanizes the people that are involved and i feel like that's why a lot of times i just can't listen to anything true crime because i feel like you just get a lot of surface level information and these are honestly just people at the end of the day and that's what i take away from her videos and i think they're really great to listen to but yeah that's just something i've been listening to consistently for the past two months i've been listening to the podcast i listen to it on my lunch break I listen to it while I'm doing a little bit of work. She really gets to like an emotional side of everything that she does, so I just love watching them. But I won't act like I wasn't listening to any music. First of all, Megan, they can never make me hate you, baby. I love you. His was a pop. I did make a playlist and it will be in the description if you just want to hear my tunes. Okay, I know that video is probably all over the place and I was just mostly yapping, but I just want to talk about things that I like and I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope we can spend some more time together this year and I could just keep talking to you and showing you guys what I love. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.